Good morning everyone, welcome to my channel. Um, hope you're all having a lovely peaceful Sunday morning. It's um, just gone 10 to 10 in the UK and it's it's in between. It was cold earlier, it's not as cold as yesterday. <coughs> Excuse me. And um, it looks like it's brightening up a bit now, but a little bit grey. So um, maybe not so bad a day after all. It brightened up yesterday in the end. Um, I decided that I would do um, a changing video today with Scarlett, but also I was changing my other babies today anyway, changing their clothes and um, I was going to take some photographs of them because it dawned on me that all these photographs that I've been saving on my other phone ready to send in my free prints order when I was happy with what I'd taken, um, they're all lost now aren't they, they're on the other phone but you need to, um, you can't order the prints via the computer or laptop you have to use your phone so um they have to be on the phone it doesn't work otherwise so they, they don't haven't to uh, um manage to uh, get the technology in order for that at the moment so because uh, sometimes i've deleted photos and then i thought to myself afterwards oh poo they're on my computer but i can't send the free prints now um which is a pain in the bum because if you you can print them off obviously but um, the ink and that is really expensive. It's much easier just to pay the postage um, and any extra prints you want, anything like that or whatever. You get something like 45 prints a month for free and then it's something like 3 99 delivery and you can add on an extra pound to have it w delivered within a week. So like say if you pay 3 99 I think it is, um, then they'll be arrived in sort of like six days or something like that. And then if you... Um, pay a pound extra then you can have it slightly earlier but uh, it's not expensive when you consider the ink and the paper and the time and everything and when the photos come back they're beautiful so they're really worth it so i use them whenever i want to uh, get photos now i don't bother printing them off anymore um because it's never the same when you do it yourself isn't it <laughs> but it's not the same when i do them <laughs> um but i i think it depends on your printer as well but ink is getting so expensive now um and last time I bought ink, I spent about £30, and I must have got, uh, oh crikey, probably less than 20 good photographs out of it. And then the ink was all gone, and, was, and I still haven't bought any more, because it's like, I'm not paying that much just to print off the odd thing. I'll uh, do it otherwise, go back to writing things down, or, um, um, you know, order things like free prints. And they do books as well and canvases and that kind of thing. They have a different app for each one that you can put on your phone and, and they're really good. I um and you get like one free canvas a month. It's only small and sort of like eight by eight. But um at one point I had, every month I got one of um Tom's children on the, the canvases. So then over three months he had like a set of three canvases. Um I mean if you did that through the year, they make lovely gifts, they're nice for yourself for the home, that kind of thing. Um, they're really good so I like them but I was going to take some photos this morning with my new phone <laughs> me and my new phone and um, I wanted to see what they are coming out like it is better on this phone isn't it I think um, I um, um, what was I going to say it's good. oh yeah I was looking at my um, laptop last night and I watched um, my YouTube video on my laptop and it's the same rubbish as always I tried to um, go into the settings and see if I could improve um, the you know the the display the picture whatever, and um, it says on there that actually my um, laptop is only SD, it's not HD, so that explains why I uh, am looking for a crisper, clearer, um, more defined pictures, and I'm not seeing them. Um, so that's a bit of a pain. Um, I might go back to a tablet again if that's the case when this one has uh, had its chips. Um, but I do like the um, laptop. I use it like a little telly take it around the place like a little telly i like the bigger screen because i can put it on my little table in the back room and half listen and half watch things on there while i'm doing other things crafting um dressing the babies do, just doing whatever really and the children use it as a, a little telly when they come over as well they'll put uh, masher and the bear on there you should watch masher and the bear oh my goodness masher is is hysterical if you don't if you want to put somebody off having children just let them watch Masha and the Bear because she drives, <laughs> she runs circles around this bear. Oh, bless. And I think, God, that's enough to put anybody off kids. It really would. So, like, if you've got, you know, 
<laughs> if you think somebody needs to learn parenting skills or what it's all going to be about, if people watch that, they never have children if they realise that's what they can really be like um, and how intense they can be, bless, much as we love them. Um, yeah, so I thought that I would take some photos and I started changing the little ones and started taking photos and I'd already thought about doing a changing video with Scarlett so I thought that I might sort of combine the two and show you the babies as far as I've got with dressing them um, uh, each one and then also do the changing and then you can do that a uh, cup of tea or coffee feet up for 10 minutes on a, or 25 <laughs> <coughs> excuse me um, on a Sunday morning and listen to me rabbiting on while you brain can daydream about all other things um, so first up I put little Grace I was so reluctant to take her out that outfit but um, she really needed changing and uh, I thought I'd go all uh, bunnified this morning um, this is actually this hat I bought originally for Scarlett and it's in first size but it came up small so it's a bit small on Scarlett's head she, she can just about wear it but it's a bit small on her head so I've sort of um, given it to Grace now and then this was also Scarlett's and it's a first size but I washed it and I tumble dried it now I only washed it on a light wash it's like a 30 minute wash because I only wanted to rinse the things through and um, then I dried it on low heat on the tumble dryer and it came out this size so um, I'm assuming that as the time goes on she's going to be getting a lot of sleep suits because when they eventually get a wash they shrink so from now on I'm buying um, first, not first size, up to one month for Scarlet so that when they do eventually, if and when they do get a wash um, you know she gets to wear them a bit longer <laughs> basically mm. but um, she looks really sweet, she's got <clears throat> excuse me uh, having a bit of trouble with my asthma again this morning. I I just had my pump, so uh, um, because so, I was sounding a bit like I was I was playing a tune every time I breathed, but uh, it's a bit better now. But it's making me want to clear my throat now. Um, oh, so this is a little cotton hat from Next, which is really adorable and it's such a lovely colour, really nice. And I love the little furry ears. Look how sweet. And then this is one from a set of three. Um, the other two are flowery, I think. One of them is definitely flowery. And I think it's just a case of one is less flowery than the other with the other two. And then this one has got the pale pink background. It's got uh, cotton, broidery, and lace, um, lace around her neck. Pop it down the middle and uh, just, in, yeah, they are different sides. I just glanced up at the boys who are on the other end of the bed. And the girls' poppers are facing, um, you know, doing up from the right. And the boys' poppers are facing, doing it from the left. So it is still different. It is still different. I'd never noticed until um, Suzanne brought it up in conversation and said about it. But I said I would be noticing it all the time now to her earlier, and I am. <laughs> uh, so And she's got um, her little bunny that was um, Rubens when he was Alice May that I got from H&M a couple of years ago and on the bottom it says I love snuggles it's a nice small size and it's nice and soft and it's like a, a, a velour sort of feel to it <coughs> excuse me I'm so sorry um and on the front of her sleep suit she's got oh lots of embroidered flowers there's a lilac one uh pink and there's a little rabbit hence the rabbit ears and well she'd have to snuggly anyway but comfort her and then on the other side there's like a little fox by some flowers and then just some more little flowers and more little flowers it's really sweet little sleep suit it is and it's a nice um thickness nice and warm um really lovely like a quality cotton rather than uh like i was dressing the babies and scarlet and grace have got neck sleepers and then i think tristan's is a neck sleeper but, um, oh, flipping neck. Rubin has got um, one from Asda, and you can tell the difference. You really can. It's much thinner. And I'll show you something with the um, stripes as well, which really annoys me that they do now. And I have even had it on more quality brands, like uh, odd necks things and that kind of thing, just, just odd times, because necks are really good. They generally have embroidery and the patterns in the, uh, actually in the fabric, you know, that kind of thing. So, uh, um, that's, 
you know, it'd be it's interesting to show you what they do now, and I find it really irritating. And I'm sure that um, with a normal baby stretching around, and then when you wash it, it's, it would have a you know a detrimental effect. Really, it's a bit ridiculous, I think. Um, but there you go. That's how things are now. Yeah, so she looks really sweet, doesn't she? Um, is a bit uh, the, the sun's gone down a little bit, some clouds going over, but uh, hopefully we it'll be okay. So there's um. I was going to say Scarlett, there's Grace, so I just moved little Grace out of the way. Come on sweetie, over here you go. <clears throat> and I'll just bring up, excuse my arm and everything, just bring up Scarlett, who's still in Scarlett from yesterday. And I'll just go on the other side because that is working out better, isn't it? This comes up so vivid on camera, I mean it is a bright, it is similar to what you can see there, but not quite so bright. But it does come up, it's like her shine, she's got a little bit of shine again. Uh, anyone who follows my channel will know I've had terrible trouble with the, her and Tristan with shine um, just coming through the paint constantly being matted it still comes through uh, awful so I'm watching for that in the future uh, with babies but it seems to be only bountiful baby that do it so they need to attend to their vinyl I think myself as well as other things perhaps depending on your view I'm not getting involved in that it just came out <laughs> um, but um, they <laughs> uh, but um yeah, she looks really sweet and it. it's really nice for a change. But what I'm going to put on her today is I'm going to put um, some little white scratch mittens. And I'm going to try this headband. She hasn't worn it yet, but I'm going to try this navy washerwoman, as I call them, headband. And then I was mentioning about this sort of Scandi design, for want of a better um, description. It's what you reminded me of. Um, sleep suit from Next. I mentioned it yesterday. It actually came with the one she's got on. And then the other one was the stripey one she had on the other day with the uh, quite bold stripes with the Air Force blue, pink, oh, uh, ivory, and I've forgotten what else. But um, I'm going to put that on her. So um, either move the tripod up or pull her slightly towards me because I just, I just don't want to just protect in my back. There you go. So that's that. It's just I think I'll still put her just slightly down. And I'll make sure you can see. There you go. There you go. Right. So first of all, we take this one off. Um, yeah, it's been nice this weekend. It's been quiet. It's been nice to catch up on some rest. Um, I I don't know. Does anybody else get this thing that if you get too tired and then you can't sleep for some reason? It's like your body needs it more than ever, but it's just not going to do it. It's like an overtired child. Well, that's me. But apparently my mum always said I was a terrible sleeper as a baby. And um, she said I'd wake up at nine o'clock at night. And when I was two years old, I'd be going around with my little um, sweeping brush and dust and pan, dust, dust pan and brush and that kind of thing. And um, be wanting to tidy up, which is quite interesting because um, I always have this thing when I want to clean up. <laughs> I don't do it now so much because I just can't physically can't do it. But um, especially if I go somewhere else, to someone else's house, I start looking around and I want to make it nice for them and I want to tidy around. And it's not, I don't mean it in an insulting way. I don't think everybody I know is unclean. But um, I just think, oh, you know, I'd like to uh, tidy around and uh, things like that. And I did um, the last job, but no, it wasn't the last job I had. It was the last job, but one was um, I took a job as housekeeper. Um, at a cookery school so that I could um, um, you know it was in the same vein because I thought to myself that would be okay I'll do that doing all the beds changing the bed and breakfast part and all this sort of thing and I really enjoy it and I did and then I sort of um, used to go over the kitchen as well then to help with um, the the cleaning and the hated the washing up but they had a dishwasher anyway but that kind of thing I didn't like that kind of thing because if you went over there and offered to help you have to do the other things as well don't you but I quite liked um the organizing and um you know putting all the ingredients back away all the jars and things and making sure this stuff was out for prep and that kind of thing I enjoyed that that sort of thing um so I suppose I must um, like organizing because <clears throat> I like to um go in the baby's bedroom and uh, when I'm busy, like now, by the time I finish, I'll be feeling tired. My back will probably be aching and I'll want to sit down for a bit and have a rest. And uh, you know, sometimes it's a few hours before uh, it wears off. So I'll take their clothes and I might even just plunk them on the bed in the back bedroom. Let's see what you're seeing. It's not too bad, I hope. 
and um, or I might just chuck them in their drawers and then when it's quiet or if I can't sleep in the night which is almost every night um, then I'll go in and I'll put them all tidy and rearrange them and I just find it really therapeutic and I don't know why um, I get the drawer out and I'll sit on the bed with it and I'll refold everything and organise it make sure there's nothing I want to take down the charity shop because I always pass on things to the charity shop uh, recently I did um, pass some things on to a friend she passed some things back to me which was lovely that was fun that was I enjoyed that um, passing things around um, I, I like things like that it's like I always believe that if you have good luck you should have passed part of it around um, like I don't know anything say you um, oh I don't know let's find an example say you bought a new sofa because you just wanted one and you were financially able it was better one or something or more suited to what your purpose is but the other one was really good still I wouldn't sell that one I would give it to somebody in need either family who needed it or I would go there first family always comes first um, and then go down the line then just just ask around if anyone I knew needed it and I wouldn't charge them for it I'd give them to it them it um, and then otherwise then it would go to a place we got here called um, refurnish which they you donate things and then they charge a small fee um, so the um, people couldn't get like you know if you get a new cooker you can give them your old cooker and then they'll somebody can get a cooker then who's in need and wants one for like you know a fraction of the price um and sometimes you, you and also as well the money goes to um for causes and things like that as well and it goes to uh, you know it helps out with other things so and they're really good and they will actually come and collect things so you don't have to pay for somebody to come and collect something um i think the sun's going to spoil that now i'll just close the blind a little bit uh, and sorry for the noise please just make a racket see if that's any better yeah, it's a little bit dark, but at least we can see her, isn't it? Isn't that really sweet? Look at that. Look. There you go. <laughs> oh, that's really nice. I like that head, man. I thought I'd pick out the navy and um, see how she looked. And she looks really sweet. So um, I'm glad I put that together now. That's really nice. I have to get some photos of that in a minute. So um, I hope you like it too. It's, it's different, isn't it? And see, you could, because of the design, you could sort of use that for Christmas, I thought, couldn't you? Um, it's really nice. I like it. Yeah, I like that a lot. I haven't put it on her a lot at the moment because she, um, I don't know why really. It was just in the drawer and it's never sort of seemed like the appropriate moment. But now it's getting more wintry. Um, it seems more appropriate. Perhaps it is because it reminds me uh, of Christmas. I hadn't really considered it before because it does look like they've got little jumpers on. Look. Lovely. I really like that on her. Um, yes, yeah, so I was saying, so this place is really good, you know, so I... Um, I'm right into charity stuff and that, um, and giving to charities and that kind of thing as much as you can. Um, and I and I really do believe you should pass some of it around. So I've always done that. Um, I've always I've always tried to do that to the best of my abilities. But um, she looks really sweet, doesn't she? I really like that. I'm gonna take some photos of her in a moment. And um, the boys are up there on the bed, so I'll bring them down now. Swap over the nursing cushion because uh, I don't expect they want to be framed in pink. <laughs> so you can help it um and um i'll be straight back and next we have tristan who's looking really sweet um i was looking through the um um you know the video i did yesterday and i was thinking his hair looks quite sort of beigey online now with a different camera and then i'm looking at him now and that is like his color it's more like a sort of ash ash beigey ash blonde now the color's faded out of it i should imagine it will go even lighter um as time goes on unless that is like the original color but it's quite interesting and unique um and um i was like, oh it doesn't make a noise i just got a notification my daughter sent me um a photo um i did which reminds me actually that i need to do a shout out for a lady on ebay um that's going to be using one of emma's cribs to display her hand knitted things and her name is fairy tale 4000 and i promised that i would do a shout out um um yeah so she's distracting me because she's got messages coming up but at least it's not disturbing the filming so she can keep on leaving the messages and then that's interesting because he thought it would go ping but it's not doing anything now it's silent i can it's just a slight distraction in the screen so that's really useful because quite often you film and um, then somebody messages you briefly or 
um, some kind of text will come through or something and half the time you don't want it. It'll be O2 or it'll be a, a, a hospital reminder or it'll be something that is really not important. But for some reason it, it comes up right in the middle when you're doing anything. Um, yeah, but I'll... Uh, so it is slightly distracting, but um, I can deal with that. I don't want to touch the screen and take it away just in case I stop the video because I... I uh, I've already, this is the second time I've done this one. <laughs> but I wanted to tell you about the um, fabric, and which is something I've noticed. And I noticed it when I first had Tristan, because I started buying boys' sleep suits again. Because um, at that time, uh, this one was still a boy. So take it, uh, still a girl, sorry. So take you right in as much as possible. And I put it on him, and I was thinking, oh, that looks really nice, all that. But it feels slightly strange strange it's got a certain and then i realized then if you it's like printed on the top can you can you see that when you stretch the fabric it's all it's like printed on top of the fabric it's like how ridiculous who thought of that so that's actually going to come off that will come off that will over time it's not been washed yet so like now when i've been rubbing it now can you see there's a patch there now it's all faded, so that's a waste of money. And then Tristan, if I just bear me a second and I'll get Tristan. He's wearing a neck sweeper, so you would expect better things from next for the price that you pay. And, um, oh, I'll try not to get into all. Sorry, mate, but I just have to sort of pick you up for now. There you go, put you there. And put Tristan down. I don't know where you'll end up. <laughs> uh, there. But he's got, see the clouds on his sleep suit? Um, it's a bit scary with him so big, isn't it? They actually do the same. Can you see? But the thing is, when these things are in packets, you can't see that. And I can actually feel that. It feels like paint. It's rough. It feels like paint on top. And I think that's wrong. Because you're paying a lot of money for some of these things. And even if you're not, that's really not practical, is it? When you think, for a real baby, how much you're going to be washing that... And then, like, with um, the hat that he's got on, <laughs> you can just see his breath there. Look. Let's put you up there. And then when you think about the hat that Tristan's got on as well, is is the matching one for, um, I need to call him Jameson then, for Ruben's sleep suit. It's not good, is it? I'm, I wasn't very impressed. But, but I'll use them until they've been washed and they're no good. And then I'll, these won't go to charity. These will go in the bin because I wouldn't... Uh, Give that to somebody else. I love it when he does that. Um, yeah, so Tristan is wearing the hat that matches um, Ruben, who I oh, my brain wants to call Jameson this morning, um, uh, from Asda. And he's wearing a neck sleeper and navy um, scratch mittens from Asda. So they both look really sweet. So, um, yeah, I just thought that was interesting and it's something to look out for when you, uh, it's like when you get, a, you know, when you're buying these things, um, it's like when you get a t-shirt and you get it and you like it and you realise that your, your motif on the front or the decoration, especially for the kids' ones, is falling apart and coming off. It's such a waste. It's such a cop-out really from the manufacturers. I'd rather have the plain t-shirt for the price and be able to use it than, than have that. So that's like a little pet peeve that really irritates me. Um, so there's the boys looking adorable. Looking really sweet. I love this dress on Seren. It's so nice. I've had this dress for about five years. Um, and it's holding up quite well. It's, I bought it off eBay. Somebody was selling them off. It was new. I think it was a shop closing or something like that. And she was um, selling them for... Oh, not a lot. She was selling like £5 or something like that to sell them off. And I got this one for her. It was the only one that they had. Um, and it's just really lovely. It's by a company called Mafana. M-A-F-A-N-A. -A -A. And um, I have got a couple of dresses for um, Abby and Madison that match. That, and I'm sure they're Mafana that I got in the um, reductions from Children's Outlet uh, back in the summer. And they are gorgeous there. They are purple and um, dotty little dots all over them and they've got a smocked front and a bare back like a sundress absolutely lovely and um, they were reduced they were selling for a long time for reduced from something like i don't know 20 pound or something like that 
and they had them on there for a long time for four ninety nine. And I was thinking, I'll pick up one of them, pick up one of them. You know, in the summer, I'll pick up. And I kept forgetting to go back and pick them. And then I have their notifications come in my email. And um, they had a like a further reduction sale, and a lot of things were half price on the reductions. So I got three. I got one for my granddaughter, my great granddaughter Josie, for two pound fifty. I got one for Abby for two pound fifty, and one for uh, Madison for two pound fifty. And they're they're really nice dresses. Um, and they're really nice. So um, um, I forgot to say. That. Oh yeah, it's gorgeous. It's a lovely navy, lovely smart navy. Because navy can vary, can't it? All colours can vary. Um, it does collect the fluff a little bit. If you're going to take photos or anything, even though um, it's rinsed through with softener, it it does attract um fluff. So I you have to give it a little roll with the roller to get any obvious bits off before you put it on her and whatever. But I love how the sleeves sit with the Peter Pan collar and the um, embroidery and smocking across the front is just gorgeous. It's really lovely. And I like her in all traditional things. She suits that kind of thing, doesn't she? Um, I'd actually forgotten this dress was in the wardrobe. Um, and I was digging through this morning because I'm trying to do a, a, a navy and pink base theme, you know, changing all the babies today. Um, so um, I was ah, oh, I've got that dress. I'll see if it's still there. And of course it was, I wouldn't have parted with this. Um, but um, she looks really sweet, she looks really lovely. So um, yeah, she looks really nice. I'm just going to take a couple of photos in a minute. Um, oh, my my um, daughter Emma had messaged me. So it, when I just went to um, change Saren, I um, had a look at the message were, and it's so sweet. She, um, the flowers, it was her 40th birthday on the 4th of October. And she dried the flowers that I sent her in a bouquet. And she's gonna. She's made confetti for my granddaughter's wedding on the twenty third of November from the flowers that she dried. And she's busy making little brown boxes at the moment to um, put this handmade confetti in. So I think that I thought, oh, what a brilliant idea! I didn't even know she'd kept the flowers, um, but I thought it was really lovely. So she's uh, making. Uh, she said, you don't need to buy confetti. I've made some, and I've I've used the um, flowers that you got me for my fortieth birthday. And I'm making little brown boxes to put all this confetti in. So that's really lovely. So not only would it be, you know, handmade confetti from dried flowers, but they're from her 40th birthday for her daughter's wedding. So that's really lovely. So it sort of touches on the three of us down generations, isn't it? Because she had the flowers off me and then for, you know, because for her 40th birthday. And then she's um, using those flowers for her daughter for her wedding. So I, I thought that was really lovely. I should try and uh, keep a few back. I like the whole box. <laughs> uh, no, I should try and keep a few back to keep like a little keepsake because you do, don't you? You've got a few things. Mm. So she looks really sweet. The back of the dress buttons and then it's got uh, a little navy tie um, at the back. But um, I really like it on her. It's really nice. Let's see if I can pan down. There you go, look. Isn't that gorgeous? I love her dress like a sort of... Um, I don't know what era it is, but I always want to say like a 40s child, you know, like um, that kind of a thing. I'm keeping around the clock because we're two minutes to 11 and we're going to have our um, two minutes silence at 11 o'clock because it's Memorial Day today, Remembrance Day, rather, sorry. And there's two minutes silence at 11 o'clock and everything stops, shops, everything. So it's about a minute to 11 on my thing. I'm sure I just heard the cannon go off to say it's starting. So I'll go for now and come back in a little while. So here we have Abby and Jameson. This is about my fourth take because I've got all the names backwards and everything wrong, tripping over my tongue and everything else. So I'm going to try and speak nicely now and steadily. <laughs> no, I'm not. Um, this is Abby and Jameson. Um, she's Abby Rose, uh, just in case you're new to my channel. She's Abby Rose and she is the Katie Marie sculpt by Anne Timmerman. Um, and she is just gorgeous love it a bit and then when I made her um I was loving the toddler this this was you know biggest toddler I did have uh, Madison then but this is for a chunky toddler because she's just slightly bigger than um the Ariana and I thought oh wonderful now I, I really need a little boy now to have a little pigeon pair I just really had this urge to have a little boy so then I made um Jameson who is the Lilybeth sculpt by Anne Timmerman and basically they've got the same body but different heads and even then, there's always some similarities in the sculpts in there. Like if you look at their noses and the shape of their face, you could you could imagine them almost. If if he had the same colour hair, 
you know, if they had matching hair, they'd probably look even more alike. Um, but they got the same eyes, the same colour eyes, and I painted him um, a little less, a little more um, um, pale, you know, uh, because of his hair being so white. So he's suit the blonde, but he's lovely. So and he's got such a peaceful, gorgeous little face. And she is such a happy little thing all the time. Um, I love seeing those two little teeth. Um, but she the, she's wearing an outfit from um, the top is from Matalan and the the tracks the tracksuit the leggings are from Asda and the little socks left over from the shop I used to have. And Jameson is wearing the same tracksuit bottoms he's had on all week. Um, socks from H and M. Tracksuit bottoms are from Georgia Asda about six months or so ago and then he's wearing a top from Matalan that's got navy sleeves braid trim around the neck and on the front it says daddy's little sidekick um which is always cool cool uh, cool <laughs> which is uh, always quite like that on him the colors are nice together the green and the blue um if my dad saw that he'd say blue and green should never be seen um but it looks cool i, I think it looks nice especially he's broken up with the white like that um, it's all these little fashion things, isn't it? But we got a myriad of colours today. Every shade you can think of the human eye can see, I would imagine. Um, so it uh, changes everything, doesn't it? It turns everything on its head, which is makes it all fresh and new. So there you go, there's those two. And there's just the big girls left now, I think. And um, then we'll be done. There we go. So finally, we have um, Madison on the right and Narnia on the left. Both looking cute as ever. Madison looks like Pippi Longstocking. <laughs> With her little bunches. And um, uh, Narnia just looks more in control. Because <laughs> her hair is a bit wild and free still. Um, I'm actually thinking of... Um, there was sort of like a, a double motive, double-edged sword to my um, putting it in bunches today. I thought it would look cute. Keep it under control because she's so big to move around it flails everywhere. And um, also I'm, I'm contemplating... I'm um, just gently washing and conditioning the ends, you know, just like from about there down, and like sort of take the ends there because they still feel dry. Um, I straightened it very gently the other day so I could see the ends properly and um, uh, see if it was cut okay. And it is cut okay, it's pretty good actually. Um, it's not far off, and then um, I'm hoping I can recurl it again. But I, I really do, it feels like it needs a wash. If you can imagine, like you've got really dry hair, especially from about there down just feels really dry and it feels like really dry strawy hair and it feels full of hairspray you know that kind of feeling I and mean, even up there it feels a bit full of full of there's something on it definitely to uh, keep it under control but uh, i wouldn't mind um, just uh, trying to condition the ends and see how that happens so they're both wearing really similar outfits um madison has had that top for a long time that's a really um cheap one 2.99 from h m they do quite a few that are two ninety nine, and they're always nice. I like the um, pale background with the black bunny. I thought that was really nice. And then um, I bought this one for Narnia when I bought the first clothes for us to show something to wear, and that's from Next. It's got a pale pink background and a panda face on the front, and it says "Take care, I'm rare," which I thought was good because she's rare too. Um, they are really sweet. And then they're both wearing um, matching leggings in a sort of pale uh, dusky pink. I'll just loosen my tripod slightly and pan down. There you go. And they were from Matalan in the, um, if you buy uh, two things, you got one thing free offer they were doing the other week. And then they both got little socks on. Narnia's got her white ones on from um, Georgia. Uh, Asda, a pack of five for three pounds, and Nanya has got some on that are uh, really quite old, probably three or four years old now, and I think they were from my shop. Um, yeah, they were they were from my shop. I used to sell them, so uh, there they are, looking really sweet. So uh, thank you for lasting so long. If you didn't, don't don't worry, it's fine. Um, but uh, um, um, I hope you all have a lovely, lovely day. Um, I only lost my thread then, didn't I? Right at the end. Um, nearly just had a, a notification coming up saying I'm low battery so I got distracted because um, you have to read it don't you because you don't know what it is but um, have a lovely day sun's brightened up we got a whole load of traffic coming out of town saw a poppy um, like a, a police car earlier going down into town for part of the parade and everything as you imagine and um, he had uh, all poppies all around the car you know like um, uh, um, 
on the car itself, you know, like they do now. What well, they do, like a full thing, don't they? Like a, a coating on there, um, and it look, looked fantastic. So, um, uh, thank you everybody for popping in, and uh, I adm I admire you if you've lasted this long. It's come up quite uh, long today. Uh, when I edit it, I'll try and shorten it slightly if possible. Um, uh, but thank you for popping in. I hope you enjoy seeing the babies and uh, Scarlett getting changed and a little natter. And uh, we shall be back soon. So bye for now. Take care, everyone. Bye.